We're going to look at slope using uh, given different kind of graphs. Now, before we start looking into actual pictures of coordinates and lines and all that, I want to look at uh, different types of slope that we can come up with as an answer. So we could have different lines with different linear straight lines within a graph. Now, when I read my graph, what I, what I mean by that is I want to go from left to right, like you're reading a book. And if I'm reading this book or if I'm reading this line, moving to the left, does that line go up or does it go down? It's like you're actually going up a hill. If something is going up, we like to say that it has a positive slope. All right, well, what if I got a line that looks like that? Again, read a book. We're going from the left to the right. Do you go uphill? Do you go downhill? We tend to go downhill now. If going down, if going up was positive, going down has to be negative. So again, we're just kind of talking about the different types of slope that you can come up with, positive, negative. Now, sometimes these lines or these hills could get really, really steep, and sometimes they could get really, really flat, very not steep at all. And we have special names going on for those. So. If I've got a line that kind of flattened out, you're no longer walking up a hill, you're no longer walking down a hill, you're just walking on a flat ground. That flat ground, we need to come up with a name to say what kind of slope? We say it has a zero slope. There is no hill. So what if this line, instead of flattening side to side, it flattens up and down? What if we have a line that goes like that? Well, we got positive, negative, zero. Our only other option is something called undefined. Undefined means you can't walk on that hill. I can walk up a hill. I can walk down a hill. I can walk on flat ground with no hills. But can you walk up a wall? Unless you're Spider-Man, not happening. So this is just describing the types of lines that you can come up with. Now, what about if we have a graph with coordinates on there and that line connecting them? We want to find an actual number for that slope. Well, in order to do that, we need something. We have a word or a group of words that we can use. Sometimes we can say slope is equivalent to the rise over run. What does rise mean? Rise just means going up and down. What, the, uh, what coordinate, what half of the coordinate goes up and down? The y half, up and down. The run says going left and right. The x goes left and right. Okay, so I want to find how far up we go. I want to find out how far over we go. Well, let's count our rising. We start here, we have one full step, two, three, four. We just rose four spots. Now let's count how much we ran, how much we went from side to side. We started here, we're going one, two, three. Now, we need to take into account, into account the direction that we're moving. If we're going upwards, you're, you, that four could either be a positive or a negative. Going up is usually good, good, positive. Moving to the right, if you look at a number line, number lines, numbers to the right is a positive direction. So both of these are positive. We don't need to show anything other than that. So now what kind of slope do we have? We go up four, we run three. So we have a positive four over three. Okay. What if our line goes the other direction? Well, we already know that a line that looks like this is going to be negative. Let's see if that happens here. So let's continue looking at this rise and run situation. Rise, how much do we go up and down? Now, like I said, reading a book left to right, I want to read my graphs left to right. Let's start at this coordinate. Now, I know my graph's a little sloppy, but that dot is where we're really at. So I'm starting here, and I go down, and then I go over. Well, how many spots do I go down? I go down one. Now, if I went downwards, I need to say whether or not that's positive or negative. Downward, a downward movement is usually a bad one, negative. Now, how much do we run? We go one, 
two, three, four steps. Now again, we're moving to the right in that positive direction. So we're moving positive four, but we don't need to show that. So our rise and run, we rose negative one, we ran one. Your slope is negative one fourths. We said our original graph was gonna be negative because it looked like that. We came up with a negative. That's finding slope given graphs.